You too, what's up? Tech King Mike, and we are in the building with the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Now, I just took delivery of this beauty from my local FedEx driver, so shout out to uh, my FedEx driver. <laughs> and guys, I'm ready to I'm ready to jump into this thing, okay? Now, full disclosure, because some people like to know, this is not the unlocked model. I got this model um, from AT&T. I took advantage of a deal that AT&T had going on, $100 off of the watch, but you also got the Buds 3 Pro. Uh, the buds the buds pro 3 for uh half off so i got this watch 100 dollars off and i got the buds pro along with it for half off as well so try to take advantage of the deals where i can obviously samsung still has some amazing trade-in deals going on and i will have links in the description below for that if you want to take advantage of those pre-orders for this watch but let's go on ahead and jump into this thing man now just so you guys know i was not planning on getting this watch I want to be I'm going to be fully transparent with you. I was not planning on getting this watch. And the main reason why is because when I initially saw the leaks and the rumors and the renders, I was one of those people who felt like, man, Samsung is just copying Apple. But the more that I've seen videos and pictures of it online since it uh, has been officially unveiled, the more that I found myself actually liking the design of it. I like big watches. OK, I got my I got my Apple Watch Ultra here that goes with my 15 Pro Max and I like big watches. But what I don't like is the square. I feel like the square design or the or the, the little design on the Apple Watch, it does get stale after a while. So I'm a fan of like big face watches. I used to love Invicta watches back in the day, the big G-Shocks, like I like big watches. So I'm hoping that this watch, in addition to some of the changes that have come from it, uh, come with it, will give me that feel that I want when it comes to a Galaxy watch that just really nails it because even the Watch 5 Pro and the Watch 6 Classic didn't really do it for me. But let's go on ahead and take this off. And very similar to uh, Apple, I hate, I hate to say it, but we have two different boxes, one for the band and one for the watch itself. Now we'll get this out of the way. I will say, however, though, I will say, however, this is uh, key with Samsung when it comes to their... Um, when it comes to how they do their uh, custom band. So if you get a custom band from uh, Samsung, custom you know watch and band, this is how it will normally come. You'll get a separate band and a separate watch uh, in the box. So let's go on ahead and pop this thing open. And there it is. And wow, that is nice, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and peel open this band as well. And I'm going to compare this, I believe, the Marine Band to the Ocean Band from Apple because that is the band that initially came with my uh, Apple Watch Ultra. I am currently rocking a Nomad Band, but let's see. So we'll compare these two real quick. So as you guys can see, it's pretty dirty because I wear it. <laughs> like I actually wear my watch. Um, this is the ocean band and this is the marine band. So as you can see, there's a there's, there are some subtleties there. There's some there's some similarities there for sure. But I kind of like the Samsung one a little bit better. It's a little bit softer, a little bit softer feel, a little bit more flexible. I mean, this one feels good, but I kind of like the way the Samsung one feels just a little bit. It feels a little bit more soft and a little bit more flexible. So we'll put that off to the side and let's go on ahead and take the watch out and just take a look around it. So peeling off this back sticker. I have no nails, so it's hard for me to do stuff without nails. My goodness, this is trolling me hard, man. My God, this one little sticker trolling the crap out of me. All right, there we go. Got it, finally. Jesus. So taking a look around the watch, we've got that big circular face. It's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. We have our titanium body which i kind of like the two-tone it's actually three different colors there's a black ring around the top there's silver accents underneath it and then there's this dark gray color around it if you guys can see so we got the black ring dark gray around and then we got silver titanium-ish accents on the back and on the front underneath the ring now here's my thing i don't mind that because it actually seems like it blends in really well i'm just curious as to how it's going to look with different bands you know with so many different colors going on but i'm glad i went with this option because i like the face of this watch 
with the white indicators and the black ring as opposed to the bright orange i feel like the orange uh action button and oh and this uh you know button over here with the orange accents i don't mind that because i feel like it gives it a little bit of flair but i don't like too much orange you know i'm not really a big orange fan like that so let's go ahead and put the band on and see how it feels attached so i think you just click that in okay wow that really goes in there that's that's not going anywhere that's not going anywhere at all jesus that actually was a really nice snap and then let's see if i can get this one in there just as smoothly all right and that's in there as well those that that is not going anywhere and i'm actually giving that full force pull now that is one thing a lot of people tried to say that oh samsung copied apple with the band connection this is completely different from the apple uh, from the apple watch connection just to give you an example the apple watch connection you see you see you see that that looseness in the band in the connector that's because it's just a slide in connector and all that's holding it in place when you do that is these little nubs right here that's it nothing else is holding that in place so this actually clicks in and stays in place and actually looking at it with the band this is really sharp this is a really sharp watch now let's slap it on the wrist and let's see what it looks like i am doing this from behind the camera and again guys this is just my quick unboxing and first impressions oh i like that i like that okay samsung may have made me a believer of the watch ultra i like this let's see which one of these buttons is the power button is it this front this top one with the orange Okay, I've been holding that for a while. Oh, there it is. Boom. So that's the one it was. Okay. So yeah, so this is the Watch Ultra. Now, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to put this band back on. Put this band back on the Apple Watch. And as you can see, we got the Galaxy Knox. Secured by Knox, I should say. I want to make this one a little bit looser since its band is significantly bigger than the Apple Watch. Make this a little bit looser, see if we can't slide it a little bit further up the wrist. And let's put them both on side by side and see how they look. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the watch paired up. So while we're comparing the two of them, we're going ahead and get it paired up and get that message off the screen. And boom, boom. All right, so my, my, while my fold is connecting to the watch, I'm going to just keep, give you guys a little bit of a comparison here. So this is the size on my wrist. Now, I'm not exactly sure of how big my wrist is. Um, I honestly don't know, but I know that when all the Apple Watch bands, I have to wear, uh, I have to wear the large uh, size when it comes to the bands. Uh, I can't wear anything that's a medium. So that may be something to consider when it comes to my wrist size but so far i like this i like this size like this this size looks really nice as far as the overall uh feel of the watch and i gotta plug my phone up here because my phone's about to die <laughs> but that's pretty much it i just wanted to give you guys a quick a quick uh video on the unboxing of the uh, galaxy watch ultra and like i said just showing you guys a little bit of a comparison between the two of the Galaxy Watch versus the Apple Watch. I don't think Samsung copied Apple in any way, shape, or form. I mean, are the bands very similar? Yes, but there are plenty of, plenty, I mean, plenty of watch companies out there that have bands extremely similar to Apple's. Uh, the overall design of the watch, as far as the squircle, this is literally called a cushion. It's something that if you know watches, you know what this is. This is not just some knockoff of Apple. This is an actual design feature that is on a lot of prestigious watches, uh, prestigious, prestigious, however you say the word. It's on a lot of nice watches out there. So I'm personally in the camp of people who at first I didn't care for it, but now that I'm looking at it more in person, I'm a fan. I am, I am a fan. We also got those new sensors on the back. Um, in addition to the new sensors on the back, you guys see me doing a little bit of multitasking over here. In addition to the new sensors, you also have the new three nanometer processor. Uh, you have a bigger battery, 590 million hours, uh, as opposed to what was in the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. And I mean, there there's a lot of things to be thankful for when it comes to this watch. Samsung didn't have to do this. They could have just came out with another Watch 5 Pro look-alike 
that personally just didn't do it for me. The concave design of the actual watch face itself just didn't really work for me. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan. First impressions, an unboxing, I'm a fan. I got to get that residue off the back because that's driving me crazy. But yeah, overall, guys, I'm a fan of the Galaxy Watch Ultra so far. Now, make sure you stay tuned to the channel because I will be doing a detailed review and comparison between this watch and the Apple Watch Ultra. Um, a lot of things to talk about when it comes to this watch. There is one thing that I want to test with the watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish setting up my watch and then I'm going to come back and we're going to test something real quick because I've been seeing some things online about it as far as the wireless charging. And I want to give some of you a, a little bit of peace of mind when it comes to it. So give me just a second and I'll be right back, guys. OK, so I'm back. And real quick before we end the video, what I wanted to do for you guys is I just wanted to show you the Qi wireless charging does work on this watch or doesn't work. So this is the. Uh, latest Samsung two-in-one duo where you can charge your watch and earbuds and your phone and it does have a little bit of a magnet here to kind of help secure it in place so what I'm going to do it looks like it should be able to lay flat enough on it I'm going to essentially put it down and it did pull the watch down okay so you see it does light up red I think the bands do the band does kind of push it up a little bit so I'm going to take this top band off matter of fact I'll just take both bands off and let's see what happens if we if we go on ahead and just put the watch it magnet it is magnetic it pulls it down it says it's at 85 percent right now so i'm going to leave it here for a second and see if it continues to try to charge up and yeah it looks like it works so if you have a samsung charger at home you shouldn't have any issue i think that were the uh Qi charging issue is coming from us. I don't think the I don't think this watch does the power share wireless charging anymore, which I think that it has something to do with the new sensors inside of the watch. But I just wanted to add this real quick to let you guys know you don't need to worry or freak out if you have Samsung wireless chargers or if you have third party wireless chargers that work with your old Galaxy watches, you'll be just fine. Your watch seven and your watch ultra will charge just fine. But anyway, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'm going to go on ahead and slap this thing on and have a little bit of fun and continue to get to know this watch. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more content on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. And I will catch you guys in the next video. It's your man, Tech King Mike. Thanks for watching.